I'm gonna show you how to set up a honeypot and catch some hackers completely for free. All you need is a PC and an internet connection, so that's it. Let's jump right into it. First thing we need to do is to set up a VPS, go to linode.com and grab $100 of free credit while signing up. Once you do that, go to your cloud panel and there will be all your VPSs listed here. As you can see, I have one running already. Hit create Linode, choose your OS. Uh, I'm gonna go with Ubuntu. Uh, Regium, plenty of options. Uh, let's choose Miami, because why not? Shared CPU, two gigs of RAM, completely enough. Label, honeypot, strong password. Okay, make sure to check private IP. Uh, you're gonna need that. And I think that's all for configuration. Yeah, that's simple. Hit create a note. And now we have to wait a little for it to, uh, to launch. Okay, now after about a minute, your VPS is ready. Just copy the SSH access command, open up PowerShell. I'm gonna make it bigger so you can see. Type SSH command, enter password. Okay, and we are in. So, first thing, we need to change the default SSH port. All the comments are in the description, so you don't have to type them by yourself. As you can see, I have already done that. Uh, you can basically choose any high port you want. I just went with five threes. Control S to save, control X to exit. Now we need to restart SSH. Okay, let's check the status. And as you can see, it's running on 3333 now. Great, so exit, clear. Let's connect one more time. Specify port 3333, password once again. Okay, now we need to install some Python dependencies, but first you have to run two commands, sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. The first one is quite fast, okay, and the second one will take some time, so I will see you when it finishes. Okay, and we are back. And um, now after upgrading, you can install Python dependencies. Again, all the commands in the description. Also give it some time. Now after installing all necessary Python dependencies, let's create a new user. We can call him Kauri. Uh, you can let uh, leave all this blank, just hit enter. Capital Y. Okay. SU to switch user. Kauri, uh, hit clear to clear the screen. And now we have to clone the GitHub repository. Uh, link in the description, again. Git clone, paste it in, hit in there. Unless you see new directory popped. Okay, now we need to create a Python virtual environment. Uh, so you do it like this, you can see that it succeeded. Uh, now we enter it. If everything went fine, you will see the name of your environment before the username. Uh, let's install uh, requirements, necessary requirements for Kauri to work. Two more commands, pip install requirements. Okay, great. Now, uh, we need to edit config a little bit. Go to cd etc in your Kauri directory. Alas, you see Kauri cfg.dist, this uh, configuration file of some sort. Let's make a copy of it and uh, store it to, and copy it to Kauri Kauri, let's call it Kauri.cfg. 
CLG like this. Uh, let's go back and nano Kauri dot CLG. Okay, uh, we are doing this because uh, Telnet port 23 is not enabled by default and you need to enable it, enable it manually. So scroll down until you find Telnet. Uh, it's gonna be a long way. Okay, you see SSH here and Telnet. Okay, see, enabled false. You just need to change it to true. True. Control X to save. Control S to save. Sorry. Control X to exit. Uh, okay. And I believe now we need. We are ready. No. One more thing. We need to route. Uh, we need to set up IP tables so that attacker connecting to port 22. He will be redirected to uh, the honeypot port to uh, for tooth. So that's why we uh, changed the the default SSH port earlier so that we can safely reconnect to our honeypot and not be to, to be to the VPS actually and not be caught into the honeypot. So we hit this. Uh, I've run into some errors. Let me figure it out and I'll be back. Uh, okay, so apparently a solution is to just exit the Kauri, run it with sudo, like this. So obviously you will have those command in the commands in the description, both of those, both of them. Uh, let's go login back to Kauri. And finally, after all this, uh, we can start the honeypot. So, bin cowry start. You will see those warnings, but uh, it will work anyway. This is just this is just the indicate. This just indicates that we are using some older algorithms, but that's because uh, we want to catch older bo older bots uh, that don't support the newest encryption. So now, uh, if you go to if you go to var directory, ls, go to log, you can see one more directory, cowry, you can see this cowry.log file. Uh, type tail dash f cowry.log, and you can see live uh, logs of your honeypot, and all the connections will be registered here. Actually, I'm gonna log into my older honeypot that is running for like three days now i'm gonna show you how it looks after we wait a little bit because now it's just a waiting game okay now i'm now i'm in the older honeypot and as you can see you have logs from different dates uh let's go and this is dot log without any date it's always the current the current one so we can tail this uh the current one Log. and you can see new connections being made uh, very often the cool thing is that we can exit this log file and that's really crazy you can go to lib directory cd cowry one more time cd tty Less. All of those, those are recorded sessions of your uh, of attacker's activity. So let's copy a random one. Let's go with this one. Uh, you go, you run Python three dash home dash cowry dash cowry dash bin play log. This is the program that we use to run those uh, recorded sessions. Paste your session file here, press enter. And this is all your attacker was doing uh, after he connected to, to the honeypot. You can see the commands that he was running. You can uh, investigate 
maybe do some reverse engineering on malwares that they might have installed. Uh, all the installed files are, are available in downloads folder. See, I have quite a lot of them. We can actually do some basic analysis with string command, strings. Uh, okay, there's actually no obfuscation at all. So we can clearly see what the file is doing. Uh, actually, let's try another one. Maybe there is something more interesting. Strings. Okay, see, there is some heavy obfuscation going on. If you are a reverse engineer, this is definitely a thing for you. Let's see one more thing. I wanna, I wanna actually see the logs from the day before to show you how many connections you can get during the day. Uh, let's go to log one more time, recovery, and let's go. <clears throat> sorry, let's go. Oh, let's say this one. So uh, let's just cut it. See, there's quite a lot of it, and you all uh, you also have commands uh, in the log file itself. So let's say this connection, you have a you have an IP uh, of the attacker, a port. I believe this is some session ID. Um, yeah, and that's how it looks basically. Oh, see here he successfully logged in with root qwerty123 because basically it, it will allow the honeypot itself these bots are trying to brute force let's say ssh login or telnet uh, and it and the honeypot will allow the connection with pretty much whatever credentials if i recall cor correctly one thing that you can uh one interesting thing that you can do is we can copy this ip we can go to malicious IP lookup. Let's say oh, this uh, this one this one of my favorite websites. Uh, okay, I accidentally leaked my IP, but <laughs> I will censor it later. So the IP that we uh, spotted in the logs appears to come from China. So apparently this is uh, some Chinese bot that is scanning the internet and looking for easy ways in. As you can see, other reporters uh, are saying that it uh, tries to connect to SSH. It's, uh, it's looking both for SSH and Telnet actually. Unauthorized connection to Telnet, uh, repeated unauthorized connection, uh, port 23, Telnet one more time, unauthorized activity. So uh, it is quite active you can uh, you can browse through this see when the uh, uh, attack started apparently 26 October is the first report uh, so yeah you can do some basic investigation uh, and play maybe play with the malware malware as I showed you earlier so that's it for today I hope you liked the video and I strongly encourage you to further explore Kauri as there's plenty more to do also leave some feedback in the comments as it is my first YouTube video and I'm sure there's plenty to improve. If you want to follow and support my cybersecurity journey, consider subscribing and see you soon.